Hola, 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 my beautifuls. This is Babushka. Yes, it is. Look at, look at, look at. Ahí estoy. You see, you see? We're here today to speak to Mr. Jorge Acevedo, our experts on the DeSoto Memorial in the National Parks. And we would love to know what you know. Please share with us. Hello, my name is Jorge Acevedo. I'm a park ranger at the Soto National Memorial. On behalf of the National Park Service and myself, welcome to our park. The Soto National Memorial was set aside to commemorate the largest scale expedition of the Spanish in what we know today as the Southeastern United States. The Soto landed in some area of Tampa Bay in May 30th of 1539 his expedition went for 4,000 miles, four years, to the territory that we know today as the southeastern United States. We commemorate not only the expedition, but the people and, cult and cultures that he uh, contacted during his time. As we are here at the Soto National Memorial, we have a number of activities that we use in terms of trying to educate people about the historical accounts that happened through the expedition. We have from dugout canoes, our Native American kiosks, and we also protect a very important aspect of the mangrove, which is where the Native Americans lived and what DeSoto encountered in 1539. In this area, you can, exp you can explore the monument to the soda that was laid, placed in this area in, 50, in 1939 as the 400th anniversary of the DeSoto expedition. Now you can show us the water part, which I found fascinating and very picturesque. But when DeSoto was about to land in this area of La Florida, he came to the area of Bahia de Santa Maria, pardon, Bahia del Espíritu Santo, and uh, he encountered a whole group of natives, which at the time of his landing had fled, because obviously they had known of the Europeans before him, like it was Cabeza de Vaca and Ponce de Leon. So there was not much resistance when uh, Hernando de Soto landed because of this. When he came through the Bahia of Espiritu Santo, Tampa Bay, right here we can see exactly the area that he went through. In the far back, you could see Gulf of Mexico with some beautiful sailboats in the background today. As you uh, go to the right, north of us, is a port of uh, Tampa Bay and Right here we are at the mouth of the Manatee River. Although we're a national memorial, due to the fact that Hernando de Soto did not physically land in this area, we know of our Native American history because there are ancient mounds of shells that left behind when they left. So it is also known as a Shaw's Point Historical District. Across in Riverview, there is another area where Native Americans used to have a settlement and both sides are now managed one by the county of Manatee County and obviously here the Soto Memorial to protect that view shed so when the visitors come to this area of Tampa Bay they can explore and experience exactly what the Europeans and Native Americans had in terms of a paradise. Today, through the April to October, we do kayak programs Saturdays and Sundays to provide people with an opportunity to learn a little bit, not only about the historical aspect, but the natural aspects of the area. We talk about Tampa Bay, the estuary, the mangrove shoreline, the sea grasses that are protected within, manatees, shark, turtles, and all those other elements of the diet of not only Native Americans, but as well Europeans. Well, thank you. And now we're going to go to other parts okay. and go into the actual museum. How's that? 
Let's right. go to the museum. <laughs> All right.